So unlike hydrogen, helium, to the best of our knowledge, is completely inert. This means that I can't do any chemical reactions with it. And instead of that, I'm going to talk about some of its physical properties. A lot of people know that if you inhale helium, your voice becomes very high-pitched. So, what a lot of people don't know is why. A common mistaken understanding of this is that sound travels faster in helium than it does in air. And because of this, it's Doppler shifted to a higher frequency. This is wrong in two ways. One, because sound actually travels slower in helium than it does in air. And even if it did travel faster in helium than in air, the distance between the peaks and the troughs would still be the same, so it wouldn't change pitch. Another explanation is that your vocal folds vibrate faster in helium than in air because helium is less dense than air. This explanation has a grain of truth to this. Your vocal folds do vibrate a little bit faster in helium than in air, but the main thing that's keeping them from vibrating faster than they are is their own inertia, so it's a very small difference. Taking both of these together, you may think that your voice doesn't get high when you inhale helium, and you may be surprised to hear that it actually doesn't change pitch. This is very weird, especially because of the voice that I have right now is very high pitched. The actual explanation of why it seems high pitched is that because helium is less dense than air, the harmonics, the high harmonics of my voice are reinforced and made louder than the lower harmonics of my voice. It builds up resonances in the higher register and dumbs down the resonances in the lower register. So now what you're hearing is higher harmonics of my voice. What also may be of interest is that helium is actually used sometimes in quote unquote neon lights to make a bluish light because neon when excited by an electric current turns red orange. Helium turns the light blue. So if you ever see a bluish neon light know that it's probably helium or a mixture of helium and argon. It also may be of interest to know that liquid helium at below 2 Kelvin is used in superconducting magnets. Most materials when they go below 2 Kelvin turn into superconductors. This means that they have zero resi resistance to electric current. This is analogous to saying that if you took an I your iPod fully charged and dropped it into a bowl of liquid helium at below 2 Kelvin, you could play your favorite music as loudly as you wanted forever without the battery ever running out. This is pretty amazing. I would love to sing a chipmunk song after having breathed in helium, but I'm too professional for that. <laughs>